Hi, I'm the inventor of the new OxyGreen Bedbug Blaster and Pest Control System. And I'm here today in Kauai, Hawaii, where we're training our 10th beta tester to use this amazing new technology to eradicate bed bugs, stink bugs, millipedes, roaches, cockroaches, and all other things that crawl slither in our pests. We're doing a bed bug treatment in a 1,200 square foot residential home. So what we've done is this is the master bedroom and we've set the main amplifier bioblaster in the master bedroom. We've mounted it on a large stand which will keep the ozone output high in the air. Since ozone is heavier than air, that'll help it be distributed from the highest points of the room and it'll settle all the way downward. We're also going to be pressurizing the entire structure with the main bed bug blaster machine uh, coming in from the downstairs entrance door. We're going to walk you through and show you the other placements that we've done in this upstairs area to show you how we've covered all of the bedrooms with the amplifier machines and what we're doing with the pressurizing machine bedroom. bedroom. And this is, we're doing a bed bug treatment. We've got again the secondary amplifier machine. It's on a large stand keeping the ozone high in the air. And we're going to show you how we've laid it out to cover the entire rest of the upstairs area. This is a large open air area over the stairs with the last small bedroom in the bathroom. So we put our third amplifier machine in this area guaranteeing massive amounts of ozone are created and the downstairs pressurizing machine is going to take all of this amplified ozone and force it into all the nooks and crannies of our system on a 1200 square foot unit. Now 1200 square feet is uh, the smaller end of the rating system for the bed bug system which we designed to treat up to a 3,000 square foot structure and we're not going to use the large bed bug machine today to pressurize the structure we're going to use it as an amplifier machine on the first floor and to increase the air circulation of the ozone during the treatment what we're going to be doing today is we're going to pressurize the structure with the smaller of the bed bug machines giving us just a few uh, inches of positive pressure which is all we'll need to force this gas into all the nooks crannies and crevices where the bacteria viruses and all the bugs to do today is opt for pressurizing a window rather than the primary entrance door and the reason for that is in some structures there aren't two doors to allow you simple ingress and egress when you're going to go ahead and turn on the machines turn off the machines take a parts per million reading or break down the system so this allows us easy access to the main entrance doorway and yet it still gives us the ability to pressurize the structure. We're going to use the smaller pressurization machine today because we're only dealing with 1,200 square feet and we don't want to move too much air through and out of the structure uh, to prohibit us getting to the parts per million levels that are necessary for gas-based kills. So we're going to turn the machines on and then we'll come back in three hours and report how everything works. Yep. I'm Marty Marcos from the island of Kauai and I'd like to tell you about our ozone generators that uh, Charles have, has brought to us. It's a great product. We actually did our house here and our house turned out terrific. We uh, came in here and uh, don't know exactly how many parts per million but we did have a blue haze in our home. Our home is different. It feels cleaner. My son did a test where he put out different uh, clothes and articles that Smelled like smoke, smelled like coffee. My, my daughter works at Starbucks and her clothes smell like coffee. He put out a shirt that smelled like B.O. He put out things that had mold on it and a blankets, all kinds of things. And pretty much everything smelled nice and fresh. So we were real uh, pleased with the way the ozone generators work. Um, we also did uh, a school. We went to Kahili Adventist School and we tested out the unit. Uh, I think there was a great results because there was a room that had a whole bunch of mattresses. Uh, when we went back uh, the next day, uh, it, it was much fresher. Of course, there were some concerns about it, but I think that it worked what it needed to do. We're still testing out these units. I'm happy with them right now. We're going to be doing more of these beta tests for you, Charles. So I want to thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Aloha and mahalo.